Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to watch and react to episode 4 of season 1 of Creeped Out. So far every episode's been quite good. Yeah, I've been really enjoying the series so far. This episode's entitled Marty. Don't really know what that could mean. That could be anything, so I can't even guess what the plot's going to be. Last time I guessed the plot pretty much exact, just from the title. But Marty could mean anything. So rather than try and guess, I'm just going to jump straight into the reaction. The curious. They say he collects strange tales. Creepy. And if you ever hear his whistle, you know something creepy is about to unfold. Is it wise to capture your life in a tiny box that can be lost, broken, stolen or corrupted? Everything you value could be gone in the time it takes to hit send. Is this another social media episode? See my status about the dance? You're one about finding a dress? Mm-hmm. First one that's filmed in Canada. Can don't tell me. I will read cool. it right now. Hey, maybe you want to go shopping for dresses together? I totally love that. Me too. I'll send you a link to that shop. Get off your phone and chat to be each other. Hey, Keith, over here. I think someone's got a crush on Key. <laughs> <laughs> they can't possibly be as cool as you're imagining. Are you embarrassed by your outdated phones? Our product can change that. Each handset comes complete with exclusive upgrades. It's a rocky horror. <laughs> Take it from us. It will change your life. Go Something to our website right now. Happen. Cause that's not suspicious at all. Where's the charger? How are you supposed to turn this thing? On. Hello there, Kim. I... Hello? I am Marty. How can I change your life today? How do you know my name? Okay. Simple. I extrapolated data from your fingerprint DNA. It allowed me to decipher your name. <laughs> you should be worried. Throw that phone I away. I joke, Kim. Look behind you. Oh, uh, okay. I just scanned it. Still creepy. The fridge can tell you a lot about a person. <laughs> You're creepy. amazing. Give you access to my entire sad life. Au contraire, mon ami. I don't see a sad life at all. Here she comes. Fresh out of the dentist chair. How are you feeling? Is this real life? <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> Forgive my clumsiness, Kim. I'm just baffled. From where I'm sitting. You may be the sweetest, most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Ooh. That's not the popular consensus. So is the easy Marty gonna try and make her popular? <laughs> oh no, because everyone's laughing at her. <laughs> now don't be mad, Kim. I took the liberty of uploading a video. What? Did Evasion of privacy. Everyone is laughing at me. Hey, it's Kim, right? Hi, yes, it's Kim, my name. Hi. <laughs> Guys, she's funny in real life. <laughs> You're funny. You want to come sit with us at lunch? We love your Why well, have you got a pencil in your head? Sure, dude? I, I'd love to. <laughs> funny. Don't know if they're inviting her to lunch you. to take the mick out of her, though. That's what concerns me. Oh. Oh, but she's left a friend. Using my expensive filters. I've created a smorgasbord of memes that offer the most potential to It really bothers me when this happens in shows. I want to be popular and they end up leaving the friends. Flooding in. They're just the nice people. Next up, I've analyzed your text messages. So you should realize that she's the friend. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You didn't even say hi to her. <laughs> Bitch. I got your text, Kim. Glad you've moved on. What text? Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Best let her go. It's not like you haven't tried to include her. M Marty, he, she hasn't really. So why does Marty want her out of the picture? Maybe you'd consider going to the dance with me? No. Yeah, I'd love to. Stay away. <laughs> Hi, my... So what do you think? She thinks you're a loser and you dress like her, Granny. No. <laughs> what was that? I've been imagining that moment since forever and you just ruined it. How could you do that to me? What did I do? You humiliated me. How? Cheating on me? <laughs> what? what? In front of my eyes. We spend every minute of every day together. <sighs> oh, 
dear. You're not real. No. I am real. Kid. He's not. Oh, you can't check it out because he still has access to all your personal information. Hello, customer service. How may I help you today? Yeah, I bought a phone from you. Something's not right with it, and I need to reset it. Now it says that it wants to be my soulmate, which I can't believe I'm actually saying out loud. Are you hearing this? <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Okay. Crazy. Am I right, Kim? <sighs> That's not what I. Hang on. I never told you my name. Marty's Hello? everywhere. I'm still here, Kim. I'll always be here. You don't think I can intercept phone calls? <laughs> but what's the purpose of Marty? Like, what does he get out of this? I don't understand. I need to know his motivation. Don't you leave me behind. Oh dear. Slid right across the grass. We, we were going up and down the hill and oversharing today, Kimmy. It took us like all day. <laughs> it's funny because, like, as an adult, these posts are just they're quite cute, you know, like me, I, I showing you when you're not at your most perfect, just being natural. Obviously, to teenagers, it's like the end of the world. Who does he look like? That wasn't so hard. You can delete them now. Just don't ever leave me at home again. So has everyone got their own Marty, or is no. it just her? You wanted Ding. a phone that didn't crack, Kim. I'm no. you <laughs> That's not a phone, that's a I demon. Other phones. Bath time already. It's not a murder you did. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like hot weather. Kim, please. Because the outback of Australia is just going to get there with no, no sort of zip code, postcode. You really don't get it. I'm connected wherever I go. Exactly. But I if you've not got any pictures that are dodgy on your phone, there's got to be a limit to I what you can you do. You I made your social life, Kim. And I can destroy it. Freddie Highmore. I can share more than embarrassing pictures. That's who he looks like. I can share everything. Or not. I can't go to the dance with you. But he really does. I mean, maybe it's the way he talks. As we Freddie Highmore, to those who don't know, he was in Spiderwick Chronicles, Kim, um, Bates Motel, a good doctor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love a phone that doesn't have to charge. That would be mm -hmm. perfect, because my phone is terrible. Hold me up to the mirror. And he's charging every two bloody minutes. Ah. Look at <laughs> us, Kim. I hope she saves her, because she's really it? nice. Mm -hmm. Phone always was number one. You know it. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Why are you crying? <laughs> it's a human thing you wouldn't understand. That's very hurtful, True. Kim. That you would say that on such a special night. You can threaten human. me by taking my friends away, but... I got you here. And I can end it any time I like. But she's not happy. Don't forget that I can imitate your voice. Text your friends. Destroy your life. They're gonna switch phones. Definitely gonna switch phones. Uh oh. At least she knew about it from the start. Oh, she heard all the Marty stuff. <laughs> That'd be me at a party, to be fair. On his own, eating carbs. <laughs> we got about four minutes before he realizes I'm gone. Ooh. Just come with me. What are you wearing? Kim? No pond? I heard you talking in the bathroom, Kim. I heard everything. She said she took the wrong phone, so I told her I'd swap them back. So why did you Here. film them dancing? Why would you do this? To set you free. Hmm, I get a logic, but 
He could Before cause some real do anything, damage. It was only a dance. Only a dance. Did, did you really just say that to me? I was gonna go full on carry and kill everybody at the not, not prom, but. But they can see that she's not doing it. Surely you can see that she's not doing this. Why would you upload this? I, I, I didn't. She's not even I'm touching not it. Her phone is on the floor. How could she forgive her that you shouldn't be mom? I can't believe you would do that to me. No, I was helping. Helping? Mm. My life is over. So? Now he's gotten a hold over you. I feel I'm weird about this. I'm sorry. I'll make this better. You know Get I can. Get rid of phone. I can make them all love you again. Just Get rid of it. They should like you for who you are. She's put him on concrete. My 14th's coming up. Mom wants to throw me a party. So, want to go shopping for dresses? Sure. Send me the link. <laughs> Just kidding. Want to head to the mall on Saturday? I thought you weren't going to show today. I had to lose Millie. She'd kill me for even talking to you. What? Uh, so I can hear you. You do want everything to be fixed. Don't you, Kim? Kim? Oh my god. I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm still here. If you give your life over to technology completely, how long before it gives itself over to you? Thank you. Okay, so that was episode four of Creeped Out Marty. I feel really weird about this one. The episode was funny. It was quite a fun take on smartphones and the amount of control they can have on your lives. And the fact that if you're signed up to all these apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok even, um, it can get all this information from you and they can spread it around. Obviously... Not to the extreme that it was in the episode, that's obviously an enhanced version of it. But, I guess it's just to kind of emphasise that all the information you put out there and all the information that you have on your phone is susceptible to hackers and all that kind of jazz. So I thought, for obviously the message he's trying to portray, that was great. My, I feel weird about the choices made in the episode by the characters. So, the friend who did the whole... I'm trying to free you by showing Marty that you don't want to be with him and he uploads all this stuff. I get her intentions were good. I get that. However, it's it's so strange because she had to like humiliate her friend and cause a lot of public upset to her friend to free her. I don't know if that was maybe not what she intended, but also I don't think that's a good choice. Like... I understand that you want to try to free your friend and make them happy again, but there's ways and means of doing it that doesn't include everyone hating her. At the same time, her friend, like, she deserved better than the... I don't really get names as, as usual. But the main character was not a nice person overall because she dumped her friend quite quickly and she wanted to be so popular and just left her friend in the dirt so that one with the glasses, she deserved better. She could have gone and made so many better friends. And yet, she obviously tried to get the girl out from under the control, which is noble. But does she deserve it? Couldn't she have gone and made better friends? And then, like, the ending showed, she didn't even learn the lesson. Because she's now debating getting Marty out of the concrete to make it popular again. Because she's not happy just being a normal girl with the friend that she had. So, this, I feel bad for the girl in the glasses. I don't agree with the choice she made. But she deserves better. And yet, she's obviously trying to get this girl to like her so much. And I feel bad for her. I really do. But, yeah. Overall, it was a really fun episode. I think the message got a bit muddled. Because if you're trying to show characters or viewers at home that being popular is not everything. Maybe having the character go back on the fact that she maybe wanted that. And going back to the controlled life isn't okay. Because it's kind of also saying, obviously, not hitting those 
tones, but sort of getting there, is that if you're with, with someone who's in a relationship, if you're in a relationship with someone who's controlling, and controls your behaviour, it's about going back to that at the end of the episode, and the whole, going back to that control, and I don't think that's a good thing to put out to children, so I feel a bit uneasy about this episode now. So yeah, I'm just not sure what to think. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, which I usually do. But let me know what you think of Marty, season one, episode four, Creeped Out. I'm still a little unsure, still a little bit unsure, not sure what to think. Anyway, my name's Scott, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.